what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In the early 90s, Living Single was one of the biggest hits on television. Actually, it was a surprising hit. Nobody knew that it would reach the type of audience it did, the type of numbers that it did. It was so big that the creators of Friends copied it. It was centered around Queen Latifah, but an audience favorite was Kyle. Kyle Barker, played by Terrence T.C. Carson. This dude was a suave investment banker with an Afrocentric flair. He was sharp, witty, stylish, and his banter with Maxine just took his whole character over the top. I saw him recently on Comedy Hype, and he was talking about his exit. The interviewer asked him about his early exit. He thought he had left. He said, no, man, I was fired. They fired the dude. Not surprisingly, he was fired because he addressed his concerns. Now, this is not just a black thing, but it tends to happen to black actors more. You know how that go. But he said something that I could relate to. He said that Anytime the cast had a problem, he would be the spokesperson. So he wasn't going in trying to kick up dust. The cast had issues and they wanted answers. So somebody got to be the spokesperson. So he chose to be the spokesperson. This put him on the bad side of management. So Basically, he said that the way it, it went down is that they penalized him for standing up for himself. Oh, they don't like when a black man stand up. That's why you got to have your own. You have your own, man. You ain't got to worry about what they saying. So anyway, he says that they wrote his character. They wrote for his character to go to London. And when he saw that, he was like, hey, man, y'all going to fire me, ain't you? And he was like, no, we'll never break up the cast. We'll never break up the cast. So he says, while he's watching the last episode of the fourth series, there's a scene where he goes to London, and he said not even two minutes after the show goes off, he gets a call from his lawyer and says, they're terminating his contract or they no longer need his services. So he said it wasn't the fact that he got fired. It was how they did it. This is why I've always had trepidation about working for someone, especially a corporation. In the 90s, there were two newspapers, two major newspapers in Houston, the Houston Post and the Houston Chronicle. Early one morning, People went to work and they had a note on their desk said they had to vacate the building within 30 minutes. They had to be out of there. So some people had been working for this company for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And they just showed up one day with a note on the desk saying, you got 30 minutes to get out of here, gather your stuff and get out. Imagine that, family. So, anyway, uh, that messed me up. So I've always been paranoid about that. I've always been paranoid about somebody controlling my livelihood. But yeah, dude said he was devastated behind that. But I'll tell you something. I got to salute him for that role that he played because... There was something very powerful yet unassuming about the character of Kyle Barker because as black men, we really don't get to see a lot of positive images of ourselves 
in Hollywood. He said that he drew the energy from the positive male influences in his life, especially his dad. He said that his dad was always clean, stylish, he smelled good, looked good. Like you, boy. He said that his dad never left the house without a hat on. And he drew from that energy. And Kyle never left the house without a hat on. I thought that was real cool, man. I love uh, listening to interviews from people who've actually lived it and done something. I like watching documentaries and stuff like that as opposed to watching a lot of make-believe stuff. But if you get a chance to check the video out, I'll put a link in the description. Until next time, family, no more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>